Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampaCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to another wonderful Saturday. I know everyone's gearing up for the holidays and no exception. I am down actually um, out of town this weekend at a class about an hour south of me. So this has been pre-recorded, but that's okay. We are working on the Poinsettia Petals stamp set and Poinsettia dies. So I'm excited to show you a couple cards. Same card, just different color schemes. And then um, before I forget, I just wanna remind you, if you place an online order with me using the host code listed below in the description, I will send you a gift in the mail. So, um, we also have our holiday catalog um, on the website. We have retiring items. Some of them are already sold out, but others are still available and they're discounted, uh, but only available while supplies last. So make sure to check that out. This um, stamp set and, bun and uh, dies are in the annual catalog, so they are not gonna be selling out. And, um, and they're some of my favorites, so I wanted to uh, share that with you today. All right, so we're gonna start out with a piece of uh, thick, basic white cardstock. Then I have die cut a piece of basic white using the stitch rectangle dies, love these things. And then I've just cut a small piece of basic black to go behind it. And I will put dimensions um, on my blog and the link is below for that as well. Now I've gone ahead and die cut three of the, one of each of the different sizes of poinsettias. And then I have a couple leaves. So these are silver foil, which are in the silver foil pack. And then I also had die cut a couple of the black glitter um, leaves. Now I know the black glitter paper has sold out. Um, so I'm not going to use that on my card, but I just want to show you how it looks because it is super, super shiny and sparkly. Okay, so as I explained on my video on Thursday, I once I die cut the poinsettias, I like to kind of curl back the leaves. And this goes pretty quickly. And once you've curled them back, I bend them back up right at the center. All right. And then something I like to do with the, with the leaves, I kind of bend them down in the center and then just do like a little thumb curl on each side, just to give them a little bit of life and movement. So kind of fold in the center, or you could fold up in the center. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I think I like that better. We're gonna fold it in the center and then maybe do a little curling outwards. Let's bring this back and do that the other way. Okay, very easy to do. All right, we could do that with, with these too. All right, now with the glitter, you don't see the embossing really on there like you do with the foil and the cardstock. It's there, you just can't see it. But I love glitter paper. So whenever I get a chance, I will add glitter paper. Okay, so we are gonna do a little stamping. We're gonna stamp our sentiments. And I'm doing the warm wishes from our home to yours on the front, I'm just gonna put it down here, kind of at the bottom. And then we have this big, beautiful one that says, may magic and wonder uh, bloom this holiday. So I'm gonna put this on the inside. Even though I like it for the front, uh, it's gonna take up too much room. I need room for my poinsettias. So I'm just gonna stamp it on the inside, but that's nice, because it takes up a lot of, a lot of the inside room, I don't have to write too much. <laughs> I don't know about you, I'm not a huge writer. I will write a short note. Okay, so let's adhere this down here. All right. 
right. Now we can assemble our poinsettia. So I like to use the mini dimensionals on my middle two layers, and then I'm overlapping, kind of alternating where the petals go. Hopefully that's straight. We'll put another mini dimensional there and alternate it on here. And then I'll use a big one to attach it to the card. All right. Now, let's just kind of lay this out and see what we think. It's a lot of white going on, that's okay. So we can add these gorgeous women add those at that last. We can add, look how pretty the glitter, um, the glittery leaves are. I'm not sure I did that right. It goes up like this. So it's just so sparkly. I love it. Okay, I love it. But these are, these, that's discontinued. So I'm not gonna do that to some of you. If you don't have any, I don't want you to feel bad. So I'm gonna use some of our black, this is one of my favorite ribbons, the black glittered ribbon in the annual catalog. So it will not uh, sell out. It might it might go out of stock, um, but it will come back. You know, we're all having shipping issues, so we just have to adjust. And it's no fun, but that's okay. We have lots of great things we can use. All right. Now, I'm just going to glue this down. I'm not going to pop it up because I already have so much height on my flower. And that's just to add a little more sparkle and color. Now, I'm going to glue these petals in. I'm going to put my bigger one on top. And I just kind of glued the bottom of it. And I'm gonna put this other one kind of down here, coming out this direction. All right, so pretty. All right, let's bring some rhinestones in. All right, always need lots of rhinestones in stock. Let's see, I only have small left. <laughs> I only have small left in this pack. All right. So I'm just gonna put a bunch in the middle. We're just gonna keep adding till it looks good. I feel like I need more than four. I might need five for this one just cause it's so pretty. All right, get up there. Well, oh, you know what, maybe four is enough. I don't know if I could stick one in the middle. Can I put one in the middle? Let's try and see if that's gonna work. Yes, should have planned ahead a little better. Let's scooch them. Perfect, oh my gosh, it's so sparkly. Isn't that gorgeous? Here we go, sparkle. Who wouldn't love to get this gorgeous card in the mail? All right, let's do one more. We're gonna do a different color scheme this time. We're gonna use vanilla. So this is a piece of thick, Vanilla cardstock, very vanilla cardstock. That's the same size, right? I don't know why that looks bigger. Okay, same card. So I have um, done a stitched rectangle in vanilla, and then my mat is going to be early espresso. So pretty. Okay, so I do need to Use some early espresso ink. So let's clean these off. And let's see where my espresso ink went to. This might be an old one. No, this is my broken one. <laughs> my other one is in a project, of course, somewhere. You all, I have nine events over a 10 day period. So today is number two. So for the next seven days um, after today, it's just craziness. So everything is everywhere. 
Okay, so we're gonna use espresso there, and then we'll stamp our inside. Let's get that out of the way. Pretty. It's a, it's a well-loved ink pad is what that is. Okay, now of course you can do this in um, reds and greens too. I just think it's fun to do non-traditional colors occasionally. Okay, I'm gonna get that there. And I think for my ribbon, I am going to use this faux suede trim. This is in the annual catalog. Whoops. My scissor charm is in the way. And you could add, you could tie it in a bow if you wanted or, you know, add it in another way or leave it off. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to just tape this around just like the other one. Let's make sure that's straight. I think that's straight. All right, I'm gonna glue this down. Right in the center. Now, can you guess what color I'm gonna use for my poinsettia? If you watched, uh, if you watched Saturday or Thursday, you probably will guess. I'm gonna use this bronze. Oh my God, I love that one. Um, I feel like I'm missing something though. There it is. There's the bronze. Now I did cut a couple of leaves out of espresso. Not sure. Not sure how if I'm going to use those or not. I got to think about that. Uh, they might be too dark, but we'll give it a. We'll see. Okay, let's curl our leaves out. Just fold those up at the center. You know, with these foil poinsettias, I could literally sit here all day and um, die cut poinsettias and put them together. Okay, so the leaves. We'll go ahead and get these together and so that way we can see if they look good. I don't know if they do or not. I don't really want to introduce another color um, but I do want it to look pretty. This one is looks really elegant. Well, I think it'll look elegant. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see when we put it together. I just say stuff. I just make stuff up sometimes. Sure it is. My customers say, did you design that? I said, sure I did. <laughs> Of course I did. Why would you ask me that question? Okay, let's just put this right here centered above, above our ribbon. All right, so the question is, do we like the leaves or not? Hmm, it's a lot of darkness. Yes or no? I'm gonna try doing the two leaves going, let's try this, let's do this for something different. I'm gonna glue these leaves up here. Whoops, not too far, it's gotta stay within the param parameters of the card because it's gotta fit in the envelope. All right, let's see if we can, let's put these right here. <laughs> I wanna go like way out, outside the box. And then I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm going to, cause that's a lot of brown. I'm gonna tie just a little knot. I wanna see how that looks. All right, I know I can tie a knot, a half knot. Scissors. I don't want this big. I just want a little bit. 
Okay. I feel like this is crooked. There we go. That's better. Okay, now let's put uh, some champagne rhinestones right in the center. I'm going to take the big ones uh, if I can get them picked up. I'm going to put three. I put one at the bottom, three of the big ones. All right, I don't know why this is so hard because I'm using the wrong tool, that's why. Somebody help me. I should make sure I have all my tools. Oh no, where did it go? Um, pulled out of my projects before I start doing videos. I mean, I'm not kidding you. I literally have baskets of projects all over the house. Okay. Oh, I like that. All right, let's go with this. So a couple different ways to lay that out. Um, you do not have to go with this. You could probably cut a couple of vanilla leaves and maybe sponge them with some early espresso, but I, I still think it looks pretty. I would like to get that even without leaves. I think it would look beautiful. All right, so that's it today. Um, make sure to click subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. And I will be back on Monday with some uh, gift packaging using the poinsettia petals stamp set and poinsettia dies. All right. Thanks, everybody. I will see you Monday. Bye-bye.